All right, everybody, welcome back into Sports Drive. Joining us now from the bus trip home, home after advancing past Pecos, Coach Styler Haddock from Canyon High Softball. Coach, thanks so much for making the time. I know it's maybe not the most pleasant drive home that you guys have had in the weather, but I appreciate you still zooming in and talk to us after the win. Uh, so talk to me first. I, I do want to ask you guys, you mentioned you guys dealing with uh, the wind a, a little bit. Uh, you know, you used to dealing with the wind, uh, you know, here in West Texas, but the, the bus, making it the bus ride home may be uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, difficult for you guys. Yeah, it is. Uh, the wind's terrible. We're used to it, you know, and uh, even today, uh, Vegas, man, they, they work with that way. Let's drive home all over the place. And coach, you know, <laughs> coach, I want to ask you. Uh, you know, obviously, you guys pick up the the victory in this one by run rule, twenty to nothing. Just uh, an incredibly impressive victory, especially you know last game. I believe it was you know seven to four or nine to four the other day uh, in the first game, and uh, you guys pick up a, a win by you know twenty nothing uh, today. Just what was the difference in those two games, and how are you guys to have able to have such a, a such a dominant showing um, in this game. Well, you know, yesterday we kind of let some teams not go the way our way. We didn't capitalize on those things. So we uh, uploaded the video, watched some of the video, made some adjustments on uh, what we saw um, the game before, and then the game came out. And, uh, so those adjustments weren't going to be a problem. So and, you know, Coach, I, I do want to ask, too, I mean, d did the wind affect the game at all for you guys today? Was that was that a big factor in terms of, uh, you know, how, how things played out on the field? Uh, yeah, not so much for us. We, we're used to it, I think. And so um, our kids handled it well. We're used to the wind. Um, you know, we had some plays that may have been boosted on another day. Um, but, you know, we hit deep. We hit hard balls, deep fly balls. You know, most teams have already been a routine fly, perhaps, but, you know, it starts to center the field and wind up on the foul line and right. So, uh, if you're not used to it, it's pretty tough to play that. So, we could just as well be play that. And, you know, for you guys specifically in terms of, uh, you know, the game itself, who, who really stood out in this uh, matchup that you guys had with Pecos in terms of, you know, what, uh, what really, um, you know, who really helped carry you to, to the victory? Well, of course, you got to start with our pitching. So she did a really great job today. She had just in the whole game. Uh, went out there and dominated. And, you know, uh, obviously, our catch line play is our, um, she called our pitches for Kylie Mosley. You know, so they have such a good relationship. And they kind of made those adjustments after we talked about them. Um, and you can see them both perform. And then everybody else in the team, we just came together. I think everybody decided that. Can't let the gas pedal we just kind of go. So, but it was time to perform. Each person did their job. There's a we deal for the victory. And coach, you know, I do want to ask you a little bit about, uh, you know, some one of the one of the players on your team, uh, you know, who, who I got the chance to, to come out and watch uh, just the other day. Um, it, Kylie Knowles, uh, one of the pitchers for you guys, obviously has had a a, a tremendous year, and uh, you know, it, it feels like, you know, I got to see the the outing that, that you guys had against Pampa. Uh, when it was just that pitching duel between her and Kinley Kirby, two of the best pitchers really, you know, in the area. And uh, both of them performed amazing, and, and she was able to win out in that one. Um, what, what is it like for you to, to have someone that you know you can trust out there on the mound on any given game, any given day, that's had, uh, you know, just like I said, I mean, proven herself to be one of the, the best in the area on the mound? It's easy. I mean, it's, yeah, but they trust me as much as you trust them. Um, put the ball in their hand and tell them let's go to work and this is what we're going to do. And, um, she, she does the thing that she does it quietly. She doesn't, you know, ask her anything. She doesn't leave these things. She doesn't work in things. She just does her job. Um, and so it, it's pretty easy. I mean, it's, it's, it's I know it's what hard people want to believe. It's just easy. And they want to do it and it makes my job really nice. And, you know, as far as what's next for you guys, obviously you pick up the win in this series over Pecos uh, to advance. Do you know what the bracket looks like? Do you know who your opponent's going to be yet? Are you still waiting for those games to be played out? Uh, yeah, we're either going to play El Paso, Austin, or David. And we're not sure. They play today and tomorrow. They're playing the series as well. A um, little home calls, you know, over there in El Paso. So we won't know probably until Saturday afternoon. Uh, that's about all we know right now. Well, those two, we're trying to figure out maybe if we can catch a radio, listen to the game, something like Clark. 
tell you probably know us like enter a place and they are they've already been on the internet trying to figure out where we can hear the game, watch the game. We have some idea to go ahead and start preparing people for the interview. Are you familiar with, with either of those teams through the non-district schedule, either this year or last year, or anything like that? No, I haven't have seen anything. We've looked at scores and things like that, but it's, um, all the way out there, like kind of stick in that area. And so we might get lucky enough and some of our district opponents do listen to some of them. Uh, they go to an El Paso tournament. So maybe, you know, I can get one of them up and use it. They're playing a different side of the bracket. So I might go to scout them something, but other than that, I don't know what to all right, Coach. Well, we appreciate you stopping by. We know you got a, uh, the rest of the drive back to Canyon. Hopefully it starts to lighten up a little bit. The wind starts to die down a little bit, so you don't have to deal with too much uh, turbulence on the, the bus yes. ride back to Canyon. But we appreciate you making the time and stopping by amid a, you know your your victory. Of course, once again, 20 to nothing win for Canyon softball against Pecos. Moving on to the next round. Coach, once again, thank you for stopping by. We appreciate it. Hey, we appreciate you guys. Thanks for hey, putting us together. I know it's been great. But we appreciate all the, all y'all do for us. For the team, we appreciate you guys. Of course. Thanks so much, Coach. We do appreciate it. We'll be right back with more Sports Drive after the break.